Um, we're going to talk about uh, Redfish today and how Redfish is integrated uh, in OpenStack. Um, okay, let's start talking about hardware management in, in general, right? So, hardware management, why do we need hardware management? Well, there are many reasons uh, for any of us who's been a sysadmin, worked in data centers, you know that you need to get to the console, you need to make changes in the BIOS, you need to rebuild systems. There are so many reasons, right? Um, you know how we've been doing this uh, all this time with um, remote KVM switches, uh, serial consoles, or simply accessing via v uh, VNC, or the, we're all uh, familiar with this, and probably some of us are familiar with uh, this. Maybe not sleeping, or, or, or maybe as well, I don't know, but we all have been in the data center, pulling cables, plugging them back in, finding servers, right? So this is something we, or many of us can identify with as well. Uh, and it's part of hardware management, right? Then, hardware management at scale. So, okay, maybe you are managing uh, a few racks in a data center uh, that you have for you know, any service that you may be running, including OpenStack. Uh, but what happens when you have large fleets of servers, uh, a, a massive private cloud, as many of us have with uh, OpenStack, right? Um, when you need to do frequent repurposing of the hardware, automation of uh, the, the hardware management, right? Uh, that probably sounds familiar. Aren't you thinking about Ironic now? Uh, which is, you know, a hardware management platform that is fully comprehensive and it can do so many things for you. As many things, or well, most things that you can do with VMs, you can do with bare metal as well, right? So yeah, this is crying for, for Ironic. Um, but let's talk about Redfish now. Uh, what is Redfish? Well, Redfish is a standard. Um, it is a, it's been conceived as a simple, scalable, secure management um, platform for, for hardware, all right? Um, there is a link there. You can find everything about Redfish. Uh, it's part of the DMTF, uh, and as you will see, um, we believe that yes, uh, Redfish is just a new hardware management protocol, and you know many of them, right? But we believe it's a hardware management protocol that's going to obsolete all the rest, right? Um, I'm sure you are familiar with IPMI. Um, IPMI is commonly the one that we've been using to power cycle, to change the boot order, uh, to essentially manage from the command line uh, servers in the data center, right? And if it's not just IPMI, uh, which is supported by most of them. ILO has support for IPMI, iDrug has support for IPMI. So it kind of became the standard, but you can simply access to the ILO console, the iDrug console, IRMC, CIMC, there are so many, right? And each of them has its own things. And I'm sure we all love them, right? Uh, we all need to install a new version of uh, Java every time that probably won't work in Linux or won't work in Mac or will only work in some old Windows system. And, you know, it's not something really attractive that uh, we are looking forward to deal with, right? Um, okay, but what is Redfish? Uh, apart from being, you know, the protocol that we believe it's going to replace with time um, all the rest. Well, um, it is an open specification. Um, it is API driven. This is important, 100% API driven. And uh, it's designed it's been conceived to deal, to manage with a, a large number of, of physical nodes, okay? Um, something important as well, and this is why uh, in our context here, uh, OpenStack, uh, we are in introducing Redfish as a part of OpenStack, is that we are seeing that many vendors are adding support for uh, Redfish now. We have vendors and uh, people like the Open Compute Project has support for it. Uh, Intel has support in uh, one of, you know, a really cool design, which is the rack scale design uh, that allows you for composability of physical nodes, right? This is super cool, and this is based on Redfish as well, right? So there is traction in the industry, uh, not only in the context of OpenStack, but in general, and um, it seems that Speaking up, and essentially, uh, we think it's, it's going to take over. It's going to become the new um, IPMI equivalent, but much cooler, right? And uh, the plans for uh, Redfish are, OK, yeah, uh, it's targeting universal adoption, and we are seeing that. The protocol itself, the, the design that's been done in the 
um, BMTF uh, had that in mind. And hey, the partners have been, uh, the, the vendors have been um, uh, including it in, in their BMCs now. Um, it's supposed to be human readable, right? Uh, you will see the spec if you go online. Uh, it's, it's really you know, self-documented if you have a look at it. Um, there are many tools uh, readily available now. There is a tool, for example, if you want to develop for Redfish, uh, there is a simulator. So you can download the simulator and test your code against that simulator. So you don't really need to have access to uh, a platform, to a server that has support for Redfish. Even though these days, if you get a, a new, say, super micro server, um, some of the newest uh, Dell servers, you will have uh, access to Redfish. But for developing with the simulator, you, you should be fine. Uh, and it's extensible, right? It's a standard. And um, yes, all these things are always a standard until somebody comes and adds some uh, non-standard things to add value or, you know, or with any other reason. Uh, well, um, Redfish in particular is extensible. So um, ideally, if you need to do something specific that's probably out of the standard, you may be able to use extensions uh, for Redfish. Right. Um, How's the design? And well, this is a high level, right? I have 10 minutes to go through Redfish, so hopefully you'll get the idea and then you can go a little bit uh, deeper on what it is. But it has a RESTful API. Um, it uses the OData schema, right? You can look it up. It's in the uh, DMTF website as well. And like I said, it's supposed to be um, human readable and self-documented, right? Uh, it uses discoverability uh, as well. Just like uh, UPMP, it uses the uh, SSDP uh, protocol. I think SSDP is uh, something like simple service discovery protocol, right? Uh, so again, it's, it's using standard uh, tools that we have uh, readily available. And it manages multiple nodes, by the way. Uh, I'm sure we are used to, well, the typical uh, one BMC, one node, uh, control that uh, BMC with its IP, if it supports um, uh, IPMI, well, we will manage it one by one, right? With Redfish, uh, you have the possibility, if, if you are implementing it in your servers, to have a centralized uh, access uh, to then control multiple nodes from a single point of entry, okay? Let's see an example, because I think this is uh, probably one of the best uh, ways to get the idea of uh, how to interact with Redfish and maybe how to uh, include Redfish in your um, automation, here, you know, in scripts or wherever. In this case, we are listing a number of systems, right? And if you look at this, I probably don't need to explain what's going on, right? So you just go to the uh, API, you say, hey, give me a list of your of the systems that uh, you are managing so that later I will be able to do individual operations uh, with each of them, right? So you would do something like that. So, you know, very straightforward. Uh, say that you want to do something slightly more sophisticated, in this case an operation, right? Instead of uh, just uh, listing a service. Well, uh, change the boot order. Well, you would push this uh, through the API and uh, you would say, hey, I want to pixie boot uh, in this node, right? So there you go. Um, you run this, and uh, you're good to go, right? Um, so as you can see, it's, it's easy to interact with. If you have the simulator, you can do this and way more other things uh, for you to start getting more familiar uh, with it. Um, I mentioned earlier the rack scale design, uh, which is, um, it is a platform that allows you to compose uh, physical servers dynamically, right? Um, it can be seen also as the future of the data center. So, you know, at least there is that idea uh, behind it. Rather than manage individual nodes or, you know, even uh, blades in enclosures, in this case, uh, you will say, hey, I, just like you create VMs, uh, you will create physical nodes, right? Well, through Redfish, uh, you can uh, manage this composability uh, because it's implemented uh, in it uh, with this logic, okay? Uh, okay, now, OpenStack and Redfish. What have we done? With um, the release of Pike, we finished the work for uh, starting with a library that we call Sushi, uh, which is not only for Ironic, uh, 
you know, Ironic is uh, hardware provisioning, uh, hardware management, so obviously it's the first project that uh, is, is embracing this new protocol, Redfish, right? But uh, since you can do with Redfish management of networks, of storage, right? All the projects may want to have access to the functionalities that Redfish is exposing in the nodes, okay? And uh, because of that, it's probably more efficient to create a library such as uh, Sushi, which is what we've done. And uh, we are the first consumers from uh, the Ironic project, right? Um, and here's an example uh, of how to interact with Redfish. If you're familiar with Ironic, in this example, all we are saying is, uh, hey, I want to interact with this system in there that it's identified with this uh, URL. These are my credentials for it. And by the way, I'm talking Redfish in here. As easy as that. You have uh, Ironic configured with support for the Redfish protocol, as you could have it configured for IPMI or iDrug or any other uh, protocol supported by Ironic, and off you go. Nothing else, right? So the abstraction, the library, everything has been um, implemented for making it transparent for the Ironic um, operator. Um, we have also finished support in Triple O. Uh, you know, Triple O is. Well, OpenStack and OpenStack is uh, the community project where uh, we can deploy OpenStack uh, with, you know, what we do with Triple O, and it's based on Ironic. So Triple O is basically uh, an all-in-one uh, OpenStack deployment. You can call it maybe, you know, a, a, an installer appliance that's uh, mainly an all-in-one OpenStack distribution that has Ironic. It has Ironic, Neutron, Glance, because you need the images, heat for automation, etc. And um, through Triple O, the first thing you need to do is register the nodes that you want to use for then deploying uh, on what we call an overcloud, right? Uh, there is the concept of the undercloud, which is this all-in-one OpenStack deployment uh, or platform that is used for installing, and then the overcloud, which is the actual cloud that you are uh, interacting with as a, as a tenant, right? So when you register them, uh, this automation is something that is basically interacting with Ironic. And here now, uh, since Pike actually, you can uh, use Redfish through Triple O. Okay, uh, to finish I wanted to, uh, if you're interested in, in this and extending uh, a little bit what I, I just um, um, have been explaining here, uh, have a look at the talk in the DevConf uh, this year, 2018. Um, it is this and much more. It goes in detail of uh, how Redfish is being implemented, how Redfish is being used in uh, Ironic as well, and uh, well, uh, more details uh, if you need to um, learn more about this. And uh, this talk, by the way, was uh, delivered by Ilya and Dimitri, uh, who maybe some of you know them. Um, they are developers uh, in OpenStack uh, for uh, ironic and uh, well with that uh, thanks for attending and if you have any questions um, I think we have a few minutes